Here is, I think, what the best response to Donald Trump was. Um, again, I would love if Joe Kennedy or, frankly, Jane Kennedy or, frankly, um, uh, Kennedy, you know, Randall Kennedy's daughter, Jane Kennedy, uh, would sit down in front of a camera and basically just line by line say, hey, this is why Donald Trump is full of crap, and this is what we need to do. And in this instance, it came from Bernie Sanders. But what President Trump failed to mention is that his first year in office marked the lowest level of job creation since 2010. In fact, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 254,000 fewer jobs were created in Trump's first 11 months in office than were created in 11 months before he entered office. Further, when we talk about the economy, what's most important is to understand what is happening to the average worker. And here's the story that Trump failed to mention tonight. Over the last year, after adjusting for inflation, the average worker in America saw a wage increase of, are you ready for this, four cents an hour or 0.17%. Or to put it in a different way, that worker received a raise of a little more than $1.60 a week. And as is often the case, that tiny wage increase disappeared as a result of soaring health care costs. Meanwhile, at a time of massive wealth and income inequality, the rich continue to get much richer while millions of American workers are working two or three jobs just to keep their heads above water. Since March of last year, the three richest people in America saw their wealth increase by more than $68 billion. Three people, a $68 billion increase in wealth. Meanwhile, the average worker saw an increase of four cents an hour. Tonight, Donald Trump touted the bonuses he claims workers received because of his so-called tax reform bill. What he forgot to mention is that only 2% of Americans, Americans reported receiving a raise or a bonus because of this tax bill, 2%. What he also failed to mention is that some of the corporations that have given out bonuses such as Walmart, AT&T, General Electric, and Pfizer, are also laying off tens of thousands of their employees. Kimberly Clark, the maker of Kleenex and Huggies, recently said they were using money from the tax cut to restructure, laying off more than 5,000 workers and closing 10 plants. There you go. So uh, Bernie Sanders lays it out, what the real problem is and uh, what Donald Trump was, was not telling people. And look, those are important talking points. There should have been every Democrat, uh, and I didn't watch it, maybe they were. Every Democrat should have been on the, the news last night uh, repeating that. And every Democrat should be out on the, the stump from now until uh, the election in 2018 repeating these problems on top of of all the issues in terms of immigration and uh, et cetera. And, and there's no, look, there's no indication. The, the, only, the only impact of a State of the Union address in this instance is how does it influence those half dozen, two dozen Democrats running for re-election in a red Senate seat? That is it or a purple Senate seat. That is it. That's the only difference. And that is why you go out there and you start hammering them and you make these numbers look uh, uh, bad because you need to hold the Democrats together.